It was 10 minutes after the game. It seemed like you were there for like another hour and 15 minutes. How did you process that and work through that? Yeah, it was pretty stressful. Um, so <clears throat> we didn't have the the TV feed. We had the Jumbotron feed. So when the play was still happening, we were watching the replay of the play before. So we didn't really know what was going on. We could hear the crowd. Uh, it, was, it was stressful all the way around. In an athletic sense, is that the most stressed you've ever been, just being in there and having no effect on the game and not even knowing exactly what was happening at that moment? Yeah, definitely up there. Um, you know, uh, uh, especially the lead we had and, uh, you know, not being able to, like you said, have, have anything to do with holding that lead and finishing the game up. Brady, what happened on the play and, and how sort of physical and intense was the game to, to that point? Yeah, it was physical. It was a physical game. Um, there were a lot of pushing and shoving. Uh, there was a lot of just physicality throughout the whole time. Um, but yeah, it caught him high and hit him in the face. So um, it was one of those one of those ones where I don't know if it was intentional, but I definitely definitely got a piece of him. What was your sense of relief when the guys came back in the locker room at the end? Uh, it was unbelievable. Um, just the uh, wasn't unbelievable with the with the loss of the lead, but it was unbelievable how they played in overtime and uh, stepped up and hit big shots. Brady, when the, when the whistle blew, when the, the official was calling a foul, did you have at that moment? Did you think at any point you were in you know it was in jeopardy of being a jeopardy? Yeah, um, I think so. Um, I think I, I anytime something like that happens, um, especially above the shoulders, it gives you that. That uh, stress right, right then and there, um, you know, it was one of those things. It looked like it looked like all the guys hugged you when they came back in, almost like one by one. Were you getting emotional back there watching it? I mean, was yeah. it hard to like, you know, did you need a seatbelt? Yeah, um, I'd say, you know, I, I, I've talked about how I've never made it past that game, and to have that lead, and then uh, like we had the lead. We should have beat them by a whole lot more, and then that happens, and the whole game shifts, and it was it was uh, it was just a crazy crazy thing to go through. I wouldn't want to do that again. So to be clear, you didn't have the, any of the live TV. No, you were just watching replays. So it was the jumbotron yeah. feed. Yeah. So the jumbotron plays the plays the game, and then when someone scores, it says replay, and it shows the replay while the game still goes on. So we would watch a, someone score replay. And then five seconds later, we'd hear the, the crowd yell, and then we'd go back, and it would be a stopped ball. Then we'd watch that replay, and it'd be an M1, and now somebody's shooting a free throw. It was just all over the place. So you're trying to time up the crowd noise. Sorry to interrupt you. You're trying to time up the crowd noise, like, yeah. what the hell was that? Yeah. Like, good or bad, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what's working well for you this tournament? 28 in the first game, 26 in 30 minutes in the, in the second game. One of the standouts of the whole tournament so far. Is it, and the, the ball's different, too. Coming the ball as well. Yeah, I would say the ball has a big factor on it. Um, we've played with different basketballs throughout the year, um, definitely. Um, I think a lot of people shot the ball better throughout the tournament, uh, other teams, our team. And then, uh, yeah, you know, just getting open, um, it, it's different when you see teams that you haven't played, um, especially this year, um, you know, coming – North Carolina, I played a lot of teams that I haven't played throughout the throughout the years. It's when you go into a Big Twelve game over the last few years, it'd be my eighth time playing somebody. It was it was it was different. I, I get that I've probably played Baylor eight times, but it was it was different. Um, and they hadn't seen a, a team that plays like us. We we have a lot of a lot of pieces, a lot of offensive pieces. What does it mean for you to have this? I don't know. If second chance is the right word. You know, you thought maybe your season was ending. You're stuck in the locker room, and now you got this another chance to keep going here. Yeah, it's special. Um, we uh, got a really good chance on Friday. We, uh, we're playing really well. Um, a lot of the guys have, have their confidence up. And, you know, uh, we fought through that last game, so I feel like we can, we can fight through Brady, anything. Uh, can you talk about the AR, can you let him finish before? You, oh, were you I'm done? Sorry. Brady? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we're not talking about the player case. And I ask a question. You're a fifth year guy, you have coaching staff. Was there any collaboration between you and the coaches when you got here about your experience playing the open floor game uh, since you've had so much experience with that? Uh, I would say uh, one of the big things that 
got me here was the uh, the people that were coming back, obviously on the team. But uh, Coach Davis wanted to, wanted to go away from not not all the time, but he would like he wanted to try the the stretch four part. Um, he he was ready to to see what that would how that would turn out, and uh, I I think I was a, a good fit for that, and uh, I think I've. I've helped change his mind a little bit on that, and that, that's really the big piece of how I got here, and I think it's uh, it's affected how our team plays. It affects getting Armando more open down low, um, you know, spaces the floor out, so it's all around helped us. Brady, what did it mean to you that after the Baylor game, and I, I'm assuming this wasn't arranged before the game, that you were the one planting North Carolina on the bracket. Uh, did, did, was that something the team specifically said, Brady, you do it? I'm, I'm making a lot of assumptions. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I didn't have any idea that I was going to do it. Um, but, yeah, um, it, was, it was cool. A lot of really good energy in the locker room and just a uh, really good group of guys. Brady, how, go ahead. How, how have you prepared yourself and the other starters for playing the minutes? that you guys have in terms of uh, the physical part's one thing, but there's the mental part of being able to play through fatigue and play at a high level. I, I'd say the last few weeks and the last few months, we've we've had uh, some games where we play a low number of guys. We play seven or eight guys. Um, the other day was uh, was one of those times the coach talks about that your number will be called, so you, you're going to have to be ready. and. Uh, for the other, for the, the starting five, they've done unbelievable. Um, I actually talked to Leaky the other day. I think I wouldn't say we're in the best shape of our life. I just think we're we're playing a lot, and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can make stats look any way you want to, but I I know Kirsch has the assist numbers from from Fort Worth. They're escaping me now. But do you think the way you guys were able to find each other and, and share the ball and such a high percentage of assists on your buckets does that indicate maybe the chemistry you guys are playing with yeah definitely um i've i've said multiple times that i don't score if they don't pass me the ball um a lot of our offense starts through whether the, the point guard hits somebody on open cut and then when they drive late clock it's a uh, a lot of a lot of my points come from their unselfishness and it's uh it's really cool to see the assist numbers this last weekend and and how well we played and just compare that to the, the rest how, of the how year. Much is, how much of that is you getting better moving without the ball? How much of them getting comfortable with how you move without the ball? Just kind of being aware of your movement and more used to it. Yeah, um, a lot of a lot of my buckets have come off of baseline dump offs. Uh, you know, three pointers are on any any part of the three point line, but a lot of those I'm I'm moving over two three steps. I'm <clears throat> back door cutting or you know something something along the lines of. They probably have a good shot, but they they pass it to me off for for a better shot, and uh, you know it's really, it's really awesome that they trust me to shoot that ball, and uh, I think it's it's helped pay off with everybody. I mean, I'm shooting it well, Caleb's shooting it well, RJ's shooting it well, uh, Leaky making shots, Armando's doing Armando stuff down low, so it's uh, it's, it's it's really cool. Time for two more. What did it mean or feel like to watch the team crawl for you after you offered to, to run the playground? Uh, it was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Does it kind of speak to the chemistry that y'all have right now? Yeah, I would say so. Um, I'd say they, they, they knew coming in I only had one year, and they really accepted me as Brady and as basketball player. One more. Brady, you were talking about the Big 12 earlier. What was the atmosphere like in Fort Worth? It seemed like when you were playing Baylor, a lot of the Kansas fans were actually getting behind y'all and cheering y'all on. Yeah, it was a really, really good arena. Um, a lot of fans, a lot of... I was seeing people that were just there to watch games. They weren't cheering for anybody. They had some other school shirt on, and they were just there to watch games. It was a really good atmosphere. Um, it, was, it was a lot of, a lot of fun. It was a really, really cool gym, actually. All right, thank you, Brady. We'll get RJ in here.